So hello buddy, I hope you watched my previous video about the Kawai K4 which you could also learn lots of other things for example how to run old Atari ST software and in this new video I promised you to have a go at an EEPROM update for the K4 and we will also look at how to run old 16-bit Windows 3.1 software on current Windows 11. So first let's have a go at the EEPROM. I was really worried about this if this would work out so but nevertheless it went quite smoothly. First we need to open the the device there are three screws on the top of the display which we need to remove and there's also one screw on the left and the right hand side and one screw at the back of the device. Once we have them open, first thing we should do is a little bit of cleaning. It's actually pretty clean already but nevertheless let's remove some dust from it. Then you need to locate the EEPROM and you just need to slide underneath it a bit with a flat screwdriver and then tilt it up a bit and yeah it came off right easily and then we need to simply put in the new one the only thing you need to check that it has the right direction there is a little mark on the left hand side which needs to point also then on the left hand side if you put it in and then let's be totally optimistic and just close the device. So now I did wire everything again and if you keep the system button pressed while turning it on it shows you the version number and yes it shows version 1.4 and the device is still working great. And by the way if anybody knows what is the actual difference between 1.2 and what was 1.3 about and what is 1.4 I would be really curious about this so please tell me down in the comments if there is a list somewhere what is actually new. So in the last video I showed you very funny old Atari ST editors which still worked very very nicely and it was also easy to set them up but none of them could deal with pure sysx data which can you find all the downloads so I would need to store it in propriety formats which I'm not too fond about so I keep on looking and also last time I said I could not make the old 16-bit Windows software work which is not fully true I simply did not try it and looking around a bit it's actually quite simple to run such a software on Windows 11 and you can get them from the same clinky clunky site here we I showed you also in the last video there are also some editors for Windows. So where are they? So there is also Atari, old, very old Mac and also old Amiga software. And now I had a go at, where is the PC editor? At the K4 Win software, which seemed to be the best one of all the available Windows 16-bit software. And to run them, there is a software which is called Wine VDM. And you might be familiar with Wine, which is a Windows emulator for Linux. And this special version is for newer 64-bit Windows versions and it emulates all 16-bit Windows software. So exactly what we're looking for and if you downloaded both of them you will get this software zip and you will get the Wine VDM software which is currently 0.9 and I both un zip them and the only thing you basically need to do is to run the OTVDM exit together with a K4 win exit. So looking at a command line of your choice it's simply that here and if here the absolute path to the executable the old one the 60-bit one and if you add here a V at the end it will hide the console so otherwise it starts with the console and then the window will come up so if you add that it's uh, yeah it looks nicer and if you don't need it for debugging or check if something crashed with this set for emulation you don't really need it and if you don't want to type this every time it's easy to put simply this line into a command line file so simply copy the line into it then store the file and then you can simply double click it to run the software so let's do that and here it is oh my god so this looks really really 
like Windows 3.1 software. So really nice. What do we need to do here? The only thing is we need to set up the MIDI ports. So also the MIDI ports are emulated here from the new one. And as you saw also in the last one, there is my KVR. And also here there should be a KVR as well. And then we say OK. And then you can receive and send patches. So let's get a bank. And yes, here it is. So everything's working nicely. I also check that you can create new ones and you can also do copy and pasting. Control C, Control V. So we here we are. So you can also use it to sort it. And this software can also open the usual SYX files you find on the internet and can send it over to the K4R as well. So pretty handy and looks a little bit nicer than the good old Atari ST versions. I hope you could learn something new in this video and try this out yourself. Tell me what you do with it and until next time, make some fucking new.